G'day legends. So today we're going to uh, unbox the Kickass hot water system. Check it out. Alright, so what's in the box? Well, basically, you have the hot water system itself, uh, the hose, this one we've got a small water pump. So we have the six litre per minute water pump. Uh, we have a gas fitting, uh, two little connections to connect to the water pump and a connector to connect to the bottom of the whole order system. Some instructions and the uh, hose itself. All right. So there are things that you do need to purchase separately, which is a little bit annoying. All right, this is the base of the hot water unit. Got to connect the hose, fitting into the base, pretty simple. They're all pretty well labeled, easy to see what you're doing. Turn it off, turn it on, very simple. Now the problem arises when you attach these little guys which are for the water pump to here. Now, that's not gonna fit. No way. So you need to build some sort of reducer into your hose. So I've already gone down to Bunnings and figured this out. It would be good if they supplied you with something to do this. They should really just be plug and play, but they don't. Uh, so I'll show you what I've got. All right, so I've gone down to Bunnings. I bought 13 millimeter by five meter clear vinyl tubing. And we have these reducers here to build it up. So it plugs into that. I'll show you the basic of it. All right, so this is what we've got. Obviously, I'm not going to do it like that. I am gonna stack them one inside the other and clamp them with a hose clamp. And then this, like straight into there. I'll put it all together, I'll show you how it works and uh, give you a bit of a quick review on whether or not this thing is worth your time. All right, so what I've done is I've chopped down some of those clear reducers and I've basically slid them inside of each other and then over the top of this. The plan is to take the hose and slide it over the top of that. And then that will give me the reduction I need to get in to that. That is the plan. Let's see how we go. Alrighty. So we've got it all plugged in now. The premises are basically like this. You have your water tank, bucket of water, etc. Flow through the hose into the inlet side of the pump. Note it does have a handy direction of travel sign. Out the pump, through your hose, and up in to the hot water system. So from here, we have to connect up the taps, the gas. Shove some batteries up its ass, 
and let's see how she goes. All right, so here I've got a bucket of water rigged up with the hose to a battery. And we're just gonna test the pump before we go any further. We're gonna water the grass. So here we go. All I'm gonna do is connect the power and uh, see what happens. Hook up the gas, hook up the water, and see if we can get a hot shower. Alright, we have it all plugged in and working. We are drawing out of the bucket to the pump, to the kicker system, and it's showing a warm 38 degrees at the moment, but we are recycling the water. Uh, out of here it's actually quite warm. Got a few different options. Turn it, turn it. Three options. Just a normal shower. A bit more pressure. And another kind of shower. Alrighty, so here we have a nine litre bucket of water. This pumps, pumps six litres per minute. Stopwatch. Let's put it to the test. Alrighty. So we're pumping. It's showing 38 degrees, 39 degrees. We have it set to summer and minimum. Not sure what that does. The stopwatch says 50 seconds, water level about halfway. Oh, we turned up the power by hitting that max button. And then the temperature drops, turn it, and the pump works harder. Tank is almost full, empty. We're at 125. So it obviously drains a lot more once you turn that to max. And we're almost out of water. Almost at two minutes. Stop it at two minutes. All right, and it's virtually empty. System turns itself off. All right, guys, so that's the kick ass hot water system. Uh, works as advertised, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, really happy actually. So it's best to get them when they're on sale. Kick ass do sales all the time. Just hang around and wait for those sales or if you're desperate, just jump on and grab it. I guess it's only real competitor is a couple of other ones in this little similar price bracket or of course there's the Julka. My only real gripe with the kick ass one is it doesn't come with a prefab fitting to connect the water pump to the inlet of the hot water system. You actually have to MacGyver something yourself. And in my opinion, that's what makes 
a truly good product where it's just plug and play. So if I could give them one bit of advice, just include a little fitting, a reducer to make it all work perfectly and you're on to a really, really good product. Stay with me, make sure you subscribe. Next video, I'm gonna install in the back of the Land Cruiser. And uh, from there, I'll do a long-term review as we've actually had it out camping and use it for a little bit. So at the moment, I'm happy with it, but let's just see how long it lasts. Thanks.